Hello everyone, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim, where I'm going to try to fly to South Korea for the first time in this career. Of course, I've flown to South Korea before in Flight Sim, Flight Sim, but uh, during this career, we have been in Japan so far, and we are currently in Iwami, R-J-O-W, and it looks like we can ferry two passengers uh, to Daegu Int International, R-K-T-N, in South Korea. And so I will pick up that mission and see how that goes. I don't recall if I've visited this particular corner of South Korea. And so I don't know exactly how it looks like. We'll see. Still says aircraft has no fuel. Please add some fuel in the hangar. Okay, come on, talk to me. Still says zero fuel there. Oh, fine. Let me just... Pounds. What is this in pounds? Okay, well... Whatever it says about the fuel there doesn't seem to match this dispatch. here. The passengers for the concert are waiting for you at the boarding parking. Concert, huh? It's always a concert. Okay. Starting the engine. Transporter. Boarding is complete. You can start your flight. You're good to go. Contact the tower for clearance. Okay, well, we're going to announce that I'm going to move here. Okay, well, we can just announce I am departing, let's say, to the north. Okay, and... Punching it. Okay, gear up. Bon voyage, air crew. We hope to Lops see you up. again soon. And really, it's more to the west than the north. Okay, out from Iwami here with our Mooney ovation. This time, I'm not flying while streaming on Twitch. This is just just on my own here. No Twitch audience. Well, it's a trip over water mainly, so not a whole lot to talk about. There is a site at Busan that we could potentially see, but maybe we'll get that as a sightseeing mission anyway. Hopefully. Well, now let's stick to 5,000. That's fine. All right, halfway between Japan and South Korea now. Uh, still some uh, sign of Japan behind us. Um, I think I see a hazy indication of land ahead of us. And we've been holding 5,000 feet with the autopilot going at about 160 knots ground speed. And everything is fine, as far as I can tell. The Mooney is doing its job, and we have plenty of fuel this time. Okay, coast is pretty clearly up ahead. We've been facing about a 15 knot headwind the whole time. But not a big problem since we're not carrying a fairly heavy load, it's just two people, so... We have an overabundance of fuel. Hmm. Those mountains up ahead look a bit high, but I'm looking on the sky vector and it doesn't seem like there should be anything that 5,000 feet wouldn't clear. So I'm going to go with that. We are making landfall at Ulsan, U-L-S-A-N. Okay, hello South Korea. Looking good so far. And that's the city of Ulsan. We're not getting the greatest view of it, but some details. This area and the coastal area looks fine, but we'll see how it looks inland. Some of those patches don't look quite as detailed. Yeah, this area is not so good. 
there's even uh, clouds baked into the terrain as you can see. We rarely see that in flight sim, but uh, and it's sort of surprising to see that here in South Korea. I mean, come on. But yeah, this area, you can see a very definite line where this area is just not very well covered. I'm absolutely sure there's better photo scenery available. Photo imagery of South Korea, for heaven's sakes. Yeah, it was all pretty bad. I mean, look at that mess in front there. Well, whatever happened to this area here, at least, the area further in front looks a little bit better. Okay, time to talk with our destination. Take a tower, Ray Eyes Romeo, Alpha 412. 17 miles. Okay, 3 1 right. Make straight in runway tree 1, right, Ray Ice Romeo, Alpha 412. Cleared for takeoff runway tree 1. Oh, is that it? Okay, we're closer than I thought. Pretty clear side of the runway, if that's the runway. I don't see anything else around, so I guess it is. Okay, we are clear to land. Clear to land runway tree one. Okay, well we're in a much better situation this time than we usually are. No little pappy lights here to help me with the glide slope though. Okay, we have down. touched down. I always go to the left with this one for some reason. Taxi to parking and shut down your engine. Well, pretty good feet per minute there. I stay down until after touchdown because it gives me a better sense of where I'm at. Of course, if I was higher up, I would be able to see the runway better. It's a bit of a toss-up. Yeah, when's the next taxiway? Oh, okay, well, there's a, little, there's a taxi ribbon there, so I guess that one. Okay. Going to one, two, ones. Okay, right next to the caravan there. Let me take a bigger turn. Yeah. Okay. Transporter. Disembarkation in progress. Stand by. Okay, one hour and six minutes according to this. Neo fly shows Transporter a bunch of dispatch. stuff. Everyone is XP, on the bus. Check airport that they fees, fuel nice usage. Day. Well we got our payment. So now I'm at seventy two thousand. And well I guess you are clear. Let's see what we've got here. There is a stagger wing, but then we're going to be back on... I mean, it's not faster, and it's only three passengers as well. The NX Cub is there. <laughs> That's slower and worse. Uh, DA-62, if I could make a deposit of 191,000, I guess we could take a loan. That's six passengers, a fair amount of useful load. What's the useful load in this plane right now? Um... I mean, we've got 1,078 pounds, it says. So, the DA-62 would be an improvement on that. Speed-wise, 171, and then six passengers. This one, just three passengers, about the same speed. Price per owning day, 960, though, so... I'll have to make more... And price per flight hour is 1,140. 
So we'd have to make a lot more too. That one would require me to get a certification for two engines. Maybe I should at least get to my next rank with this one. So, can we do some sightseeing? There seems to be one there. Busan Tower. That's the sightseeing thing. 51 nautical miles though. Maybe we can get a trip to Busan first and then look at Busan Tower. Oh, uh, I think the plus means that there's a lot of stuff there. Okay. One passenger to the emergency air... Oh, that's an emergency airfield. That's a lot to the emergency airfield. Well, so that sort of makes sense. Coffee to the emergency airfield. Well, I can appreciate that. No cigarettes. The cigarettes are the best paying, though. Well, we'll go with uh, these three passengers to that emergency airfield, Namji Emergency Airfield. And so that'll get us closer to Busan so that we can eventually, hopefully, do a sightseeing thing to Busan Tower there. Oh, I guess we should just go to RK... Is there anything at RKPK? No, there isn't. Well, yeah, so this, this gets us closer, but not exactly to Busan. But okay, fine. Good day, pilot. We have a lot of excited passengers ready to board today. Let me know when you are ready for them. You're good to go. Contact the tower for clearance. Okay, we're departing south. Take a ground ramp. For some reason, this section of taxiway had, didn't have any lines, but now it's picking up again. Doesn't have a hold short line on it. Okay. Take your town. Now I should, as far as multi-engine, I should probably just hold out for the Milviz 310, since you know that's a premium plane that I have. Pilot, have a nice flight. Okay. Just the ferry mission this time. Turning around. They pronounce it Tegu, but I, uh, with the text to speech, I never know whether they're actually pronouncing things properly, so it's tough to say. I should brush up on Korean pronunciation at the very least. But we'll be headed back to Japan because I'm just more familiar with things and names and such. Well, I guess I'm high enough. I'll cross the airfield. It's probably not the best thing to do, but I've got to cross the airfield. We're going to go over to the city here. I don't know if I'm leaving your airspace, airspace to be honest. <laughs> I'm going right back over it actually. But I appreciate the convenience. Well, there's the city. Convincingly densely packed. I like the multicolored roofs. I mean, that's realistic. Same with Japan too. Okay, that's good enough. In fact, higher than I would like. It's a short flight after all. Okay, well, we should talk to our destination. A very quick flight. Emergency field. Well, we just uh, select the runway for landing. I guess runway 19 would be good. Might as well get the sending. Well, I assume they wanted a quick flight in. Emergency field and everything. Oh, do I see it anywhere? Well, no, I guess that's it right there. Air brakes. Romeo Kilo, 
and now it's on final. Okay, here we go. Whoa, whoa, okay, 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 whoa, we're getting some weird winds here. Transporter from okay. dispatch. Nice we are landing. Down. Go to the parking and put your parking brake on. I'll be in touch. Contact ground for your parking Smooth assignment, landing. then shut down your engine. Okay, well there's there's no ground to contact really. Hold on a sec. Is there even taxiway? I don't think there are taxiways. I think I just turn onto that field to the right. It is an emergency airport after all. I hope there are positions okay, where pilot, I could take the off are leaving the aircraft now. from a ramp position at this airport. I don't see any ramp positions. Very short flight. 14 minutes according to Flight Sim, 20 minutes according to to Neofly. But Thank you. nearly 5,000 bucks. Much, much more efficient doing these shorter ones than the longer ones, to be honest. You can start your engine now. Okay, I think that'll wrap it up for me. We are still in South Korea. I don't know whether there's a ramp position at this airport so I can start off and load stuff in, but I guess we'll find out eventually. So, yeah. Well, uh, what, what kind of plane is there at this airport? Boeing 247 is too much trouble. Renting a DC-3 would be high class. Of course, I'm not trained up for it, but a deposit would be 744000 and then you see the prices there. It'd be nice though. They've got nice planes at this completely dinky airport. <laughs> there's, there's nothing here actually. But anyway, with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.